understand that you were you wrote grassroots. Yes, I did. Guilty as charged. <laughs> <laughs> How did that come to be? Oh, that was that was an adventure. We started in 1983 with the company, and we were in this little miserable little place in Modesto, California, and we were there for about five months, and then we moved up to Medford, Oregon, and the new facility, Royal Oak, was under construction. We stayed there for a year, opened that up, got it through the grand opening, hired the staff, stayed with the program until until Christmas of 1984. It was in 1985 when we were working on some other assignments that Larry Clonch said, we have, we have, we're growing very rapidly. We opened five new buildings in 1984. In 1985, we opened 10. So by the end of 1985, I was involved in helping with, well, we both were helping with the new, uh, new openings and so forth. And Larry said, we have to have some kind of a training program because our managers have no concept of what this program's really all about. They're out there renting apartments. They're selling, they're selling things. Stan, you gotta, you gotta put together a training program. So I sat down and with Donna and Roger Fields, and we talked about what this program should look like. I came up with the idea that this is really pretty simple. It's really not about making public presentations. It's not about uh, designing advertisement. It's not about brass bands and armbands and balloons. It's about grassroots type stuff right down at the mm-hmm. right down at the base level of human relations and personal interactions between people. So we put together this training program, which was based upon the philosophy statement, which I had been challenged to write and which I did put together. And we came up with these three elements, people first, quality of what we do second, and sound business management third. If we do those kind of things, then we ought to be successful. Bill always said, all we have to do is is give people what they need and what they want and do it right. We ought to make money. So we had to put this thing in some kind of a simple format. We called it <laughs> grassroots public relations. We focused on we focused on getting our managers to understand what exactly is it that we do. We rent apartments, certainly we rent apartments, but we do so much more than that. We rent apartments, we prepare meals, we clean apartments, we provide activities. But what do we really do? We enhance people's lives. We give people a sense of security and a sense of, of meaning, a sense of fulfillment. And so we developed this thing as a take out and put on a presentation, which we did from 1985 to 1986, 1987. It was in 1985 Yes, it was 1985 that Bart Colson asked me, does every facility have a copy of Grassroots? And I told Bart, there is no copy. There is no Grassroots. <laughs> there is no book. It's just, it's just a series of, of presentations. It's handouts. It's talk. It's conversation. It's practice. He says, if there's no book, write it. So in, uh, in 19, I said it was 1985 when that, when that happened, but it wasn't, I'm sorry. We put that grassroots program on in person as a lecture from 1985 <laughs> to 1992. And it was in 1992 that Bart wanted the book written And it was in 1992 in Phoenix, Arizona, that I sat down and uh, in a little closet, it was a storage (laughs) room for the activity director, about two feet between the door and the wall and about four feet wide, 
no typewriter, no computer, and I put the first grassroots book together in longhand, doing shuttle, shuttling the script between Phoenix, Arizona, and Salem, and back and forth about every week, two weeks, I'd make that trip working with a young lady who was a desktop publisher. We published the first 300 volumes of Grassroots in 1993. 1994, 1995, 1996, we were going through 200 to 300 books a year, just mm -hmm. getting them out to every one of our managers and every one of our staff. So the book itself evolved out of a series of a series of training exercises that we took out to our rapidly growing <laughs> family of managers, co-managers. And basically, it, it, was, it, was, it is a book based upon fundamentals. And the purpose of the book was to let our people understand and to keep us focused on what it is that we really do. That's kind of the history of where it is.